Welcome back Beast Family. So today we're going to show you how to get this nice pretty wax here from the honeycomb. So the process we're going to be doing today will be boiling it. It's best to have a designated pot or container for you to be boiling your wax in. So we'll put the pot on the fire and then we'll go ahead and we we'll add the water to it. We're not boiling a lot of wax so we'll add about a litre of water to it. Wax melts at 60 degrees, so as soon as the water starts to boil, you can start adding your honeycomb to it. And this comb is actually from a hive that we took down the other day. And as you'll see, this honeycomb is, is a bit dark because it's been in the hive for a while. The older wax gets, then the darker it becomes. And so, as you can see there, we just go ahead and we add it directly from the strainer into the pot. And it starts to bubble up instantly. The time frame for the boiling process varies each time based on the age of the wax as well as the amount of wax you're boiling. As you can see here, the honeycomb is slowly melting and you soon will be able to recognize all those big pieces of comb there. And when it starts to look like this, then you know you move on to the next part of the process, the cooling stage. This is where you're gonna set up a cooling station. So into a bucket, this is what I'm using, what I always use. Just add some cold water to it. You have to set up a cooling station before you remove the boiling wax on the fire to ensure that it's a smooth transition and then they can start the straining process so we have it set up here now we're gonna throw it off and with i'm just using a piece of sheer cloth right now to strain this hot wax that you see being poured in here All right you can use um various different cloths and different methods but this is the method i'm using today in future i'll just show you guys how we do it in other methods when you're doing larger quantities of um honeycomb boiling but for this one, this is the method I'm using today. Yeah. Now the pretty golden liquid is running out and collecting in a pool at the bucket. That is our wax. And um, that's the reason why we use cold water. So as it runs out and collects down in the bucket, then it will cool and then it will harden. Right? And what will be left now in the sheer cloth, that's your trash. That's the things that I don't want. Your dirt, your grime, your propolis and all that. And now this is the, not fully finished, but this is the product that you'll get. When it cools a bit and it's not fully cool right now, so it's a bit warm to touch. When wax melts, it cools in the shape of whatever container it is cooled in. So it wasn't a lot of wax, so we ended up with this little wax fritters that we have here. Stay tuned and keep being the best version of you that you can be. Until next time.